Do you love a walk? Do you love to go for a run? Because without a doubt, walking is the most popular form of exercise that we humans really do love to do, and there's good reasons for it. It's good for you. But what if the way you used your body, or in particular the way you used your arms when you walked, actually was causing the demise or the diminishment of your ability to walk, and including your respiratory function, as you age. Now there's a reason this is true, and it's an anatomical reason. And it's a reason that you can address just by simply using your body differently when you walk and run. I literally cringe when I see people running and walking and bringing their arms across their bodies. They do not understand, they do not recognize what they are doing to cause their own demise. It's, a, it's And it's so easy to rectify, or it's so simple. When I use my arms, let's just say I'm bringing my arms right back, my chest is open. I can really bring in, bring in big, full lung energy, rich oxygen, rich air, I can bring it in. The moment I collapse my body and I collapse my shoulders, I cannot get any air in. So when we walk, or when you walk, and you bring your arms across the body, what you do it is as the deltoid muscle comes across and presses into the rib cage, my lungs are encapsulated by the rib cage. If I want to get more air into my lungs, I first and foremost have to have a open rib cage. If my shoulders are pressing into my rib cage, I cannot get the air in. So what I've got to do is get my shoulders out of my rib cage so I can get that ah, air in. Now there's a way, the technique for you to do that is to literally use your elbows as your guide and pull your elbows back. You just want to focus on bringing your elbows back. Now there's a couple of reasons that it is bringing your elbows back is not only going to increase your respiratory health and respiratory strength, it's going to improve your digestive function. It's also going to give you better shaped arms, the deltoid muscles. Everybody, or not everybody, but most of us love a toned body. Toned shoulders, toned chest, toned tummy. It's just a, it's a wonderful, it's a fit body. When I bring my arms, have a little look at this on the deltoid muscle. My deltoid muscle ends there. So even if it's your deltoid muscle or my deltoid muscle, it ends there. If I bring my arm across my body, my deltoid muscle doesn't move. If I bring my arm up, my deltoid muscle doesn't really move. But look what happens when I bring my deltoid back. Do you see the elongation? So it's coming for there. It used to be up there. Now it's right back there. So that's an, that elongates the deltoid muscle. So that action of me walking, bringing my elbows back, elongates the deltoid muscle. Now just imagine that we have meridian lines or energy pathways. Coming straight through the deltoid is an energy uh, pathway called large intestine. Now I relate the large intestine to the exhaust pipe on a car. As kids, remember the old trick, cracking a couple of potatoes up the exhaust pipe, engine doesn't start, what's going on? It's a blocked exhaust pipe, no air can get down the carburetor. When our exhaust pipe is blocked, no air can get down into the lungs. So respiratory ill health is digestive ill health. When I simply just focus on bringing my elbows back, shoulders up, back and down, chin in, elbows back, I'm giving my body the greatest opportunity to actually function the way it's meant to function. Really focus on keeping the arms, there's the distance of the hands, there's the distance of the elbows, in your mind just focus on keeping that the same. Pull your elbows back, pull your chin in, lift up from the back of the skull and focus on the three tri-breath rhythms, the three step, the five step and the seven step. Start getting the breath up and down your spine. Or
it's a wonderfully empowering practice. It really does take a lot of the impact off your feet when you're walking and it really improves both respiratory function, digestive function and the vitality of your body. And look, you'll be walking until the day you're not walking rather than sitting in a bed waiting for the inevitable. Mate, let's just get into the garden. Let's go for a walk, live our life. Pull your elbows back. Get that air into you. If you've got any questions, give me a holler. Love to help. Brett Hayes, out of here.